I wish we didn't need this tool, but I'm so glad it's here. Imagine having your very own personal search engine. I'm not talking about searching the internet. I'm talking about searching through the different communication platforms that you're on. For example, Gmail with email, Google Drive and your sheets and docs, Slack, Notion. Imagine a central hub, one search engine to look through all of that. Well, I found that tool today and it's called Finder. It's literally brand new. In fact, they don't even have a pricing plan yet. Now I spent some time connecting a bunch of my Gmail accounts and Google Drive. And yes, as you can see, I have a lot. And that is the power behind this tool. It centralizes all that communication into one easy, minimal search bar. Check this out. I'm gonna type in Japan trip and it's gonna look across Google Docs, Google Sheets, email, um, if I had Slack connected, everything, right? And not only do I get the results of all those in one spot, but I can also ask questions about these things. For example, uh, what was the name of the travel agency I used for my recent Japan trip? The travel agency used for the recent Japan trip was Creating Magic Vacations. That's awesome. What was the name of my travel agent? The name of your travel agent is Carrie Stewart. So it's not just looking at the titles or the subject lines of these things, it's actually looking at the content within. Now there are currently some limitations. It doesn't read inside of PDF files or anything like that, but it is still extremely useful. I found even while it's still bare bones. Let's look up something else. Let's look up uh, lean learning. Lean learning is the concept and title tentatively of my new and upcoming book. Don't worry, it's not coming up for a while, so I'm not here to sell it to you. But as you can see, I got a couple pieces of my book, a uh, conversation about the upcoming manuscript, that sort of thing. And let's say, for example, that uh, I forgot the concept of my own book, which I didn't, but I'm gonna ask, what are the three Fs of lean learning? And like I said, it's not just gonna go through the titles, it's actually gonna read the content of these pieces. And in several Google Docs, there are mentioned the three Fs of lean learning, which are, find, filter, and focus. Now this could be useful if you were given a manuscript via email or a Google Doc and you were meant to uh, interview somebody or summarize it in some way. Um, what is lean learning about? Lean learning is about acquiring the right information efficiently to achieve the greatest output possible. It emphasizes learning the least amount that still allows you to take action rather than collecting as much information as possible. And guess what? This app allows us to just see the things that we need to see and also have conversations to pull up the information that we want right now. And I can't tell you how many times I've lost time and energy just transitioning from one thing to another to try to find something. And that's where Finder really comes into play. I'm not associated with this company. I, I just found it today and I wanted to share it with you. Another example, I have a newsletter called Unstuck and I'm gonna look up Unstuck number 57. Let's say a team member was like, hey, can you tell me a little bit about Unstuck 57? Well, I don't remember what Unstuck 57 was about. I've written almost 100 newsletters over on my website. So I'm gonna ask it, what was Unstuck 57 about? And I can quickly get a nice little summary from the Finder tool here. Unstuck issue number 57 discusses the author's experience with a webinar presentation that went awry due to technical issues with the checkout process. I use the experience to emphasize the importance of reacting positively to uncontrollable situations, et cetera, et cetera. Let's say I wanna pull a quote. Pull a quote from Unstuck 57 that is 120 characters in length. And let's see what it pulls up. Check out the latest episode of the Smart Passive Income Podcast where Pat Flynn engages in an insightful conversation with special guest, Chris Gillibo. Okay, that one's not so great. Um, choose another quote that I can use for Twitter to inspire people who are um, wanting to become an entrepreneur. 120 characters, please. I still call it Twitter, but anyway. No matter what, things will eventually work out. Maybe not right away, but over time with the right mindset, great things will happen. And that is a quote that I mentioned in this particular newsletter. So again, you can see the power of this to centralize all the communications in one spot. I wish we didn't need this tool, but I'm so glad it's here. Now it's not perfect. Like I said, it's just out of the box right now uh, and very new, um, probably just coming out of beta, just launched on Product Hunt. But if I try to connect my Slack account, for example, at least at this point in time, uh, I'll hit allow to connect to my Team SPI workspace and something went wrong. So I did send them an email. I, I am definitely uh, loving what I'm seeing here and I can imagine the possibilities with not just 
the search across the more primary tools that we use like Gmail, Google Drive, Slack, but I mean Intercom for um, customer service, for example, Figma for design. Uh, I would love to see uh, frame.io in here because I do a lot of video editing. I mean, I imagine there's gonna be more integrations down the road, but again, I just wanted to get this in front of you right now. If you go to usefinder.com, you'll see the homepage. It's likely gonna change by the time you see this, but uh, it's pretty darn cool. And I, again, I wanted to share it with you. It's backed uh, by some really reputable companies and I, I'm using it and I'm not associated with the company. I just found it, loved it, wanted to share it. And uh, right now, as you can see, pricing is free and I mean, go get it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit subscribe because I'm gonna share more things as I find them. And obviously there's benefits to finding them fast. So hit subscribe, see you in the next one.